Payments are always an integral part of a business. Offering a secured payment gateway is important when you are running an e-commerce business. Authorize.net offers easy, safe, and affordable credit card processing. Using the LX WooCommerce Authorize.net plugin, you can easily integrate Authorize.net payment gateway and accept credit cards and e-check payments from your customers. The best part is, it keeps your customers on your site during the entire checkout process. In this video, we take a detailed look at how you can integrate Authorize.net payment method to your WooCommerce store. So let's begin. As this plugin is easy to integrate with, all you need to do is, download the plugin and install the same. Once installed, go to settings of the plugin. You can also go to WooCommerce, Payments and then choose Authorize.net Card and Authorize.net eCheck. You can choose any of them by enabling from the Payments tab and click on Manage according to your requirements. Let us firstly set Authorize.net Card here. When you choose Authorize.net card and click on the Manage button, you will be directed to the page to set up the details. You can see the general settings screen. This section makes your website ready to use Authorize.net payment gateway to accept credit debit cards on your online store in a safe way. Here are the following settings to be done before we make use of the plugin. Authorize.net card. Select the checkbox to enable the Authorize. Net Payment Gateway so that payment gets accepted through cards on your online store. Authorize.net Overview. Select the Enable checkbox to enable Authorize.net Payment Overview. On this page, you can capture or refund the payment in a click. A refund can be partial or full as per the requirement. You can also see all the order details. This page also shows you a graphical representation of the overview of the Authorize.net payment for the selected date range. You can also see the captured, uncaptured, and the refunded amount in USD. Title. It is visible on the checkout page under the payment modes. Specify title as required as defined by you. Order button text. Specify the required description in this text box. The customer can see this description on the checkout page under the Authorize.net payment method. Show preferred cards. Select the desired cards from the multi-select box. The logo of the selected cards will be displayed on the checkout page. You can easily choose the ones in the drop-down, which displays the cards supported. Next is the authentication section. In the login ID, enter the unique key provided by Authorize.net. This key is used to validate the request with Authorize.net. Next, enter the transaction key. Card verification value on your credit card is a three-digit number on Visa and MasterCard credit cards. On your American Express branded credit card, it is a four-digit numeric code. Choose the checkbox so that the customer needs to fill the CVV number at the time of checkout in your WooCommerce store. Next settings to be done is for transactions. Here you choose the transaction mode. Basically there are two modes, the live and test mode. The live mode is used for actual purchasing. The test mode used to do test purchasing by using Authorize.net API. There is no real money transaction involved in this mode. Tick this checkbox to save card information from registered customers. The registered customers can also view the card details in the payment section in their account page. The plugin provides an option to delete the card details as well. Next, choose the transaction type. You have two options here, authorize and capture and authorize only. Authorize and capture option allows the shop owner to get the payment immediately after the order is placed. Authorizing and capturing of the payment happens automatically. Using, authorize only, the shop owner needs to authorize charges and then capture the payment. To capture the payment, the shop owner needs to navigate to an individual order page. Under order action box, admin can capture the payment. Next, enter the message which displays in order notes on successful transaction completion here. Enter the message here which displays in order notes on a failure of a transaction. Once the payment is successful with Authorize.net card, you can redirect the payment success page to a custom page, instead of redirecting to WooCommerce default payment successful page. You can provide the URL for the same in this text box option. If you are not getting the payment options or any issue, then you enable the logging option to find errors. By enabling log, you can trace the issue using log by clicking on the link provided here. This will take you to the page where the error logs are available. Enable the checkbox to troubleshoot the issue with your site. Once done save the settings and move on. 
Once the customer adds the required products to cart and comes to the checkout page, you can see the Authorize.net card option displayed. Here you can facilitate the customers to choose any card from the options to make the payment. Then the customer can enter the card details like the expiry date and the card number and then proceed to checkout. This way the customer can place the order by paying through Authorize.net securely. Now let's us see how to set up Authorize.net eCheck. To access the same, you can go to WooCommerce Payments and then click on Authorize.net eCheck and Manage. You will be taken to the settings page. This section makes your website ready to use Authorize.net Payment Gateway to accept eCheck to accept and process payments from bank accounts directly through your website or the Authorize.net Virtual Terminal on your online store in a safe way. You can accept electronic checks in addition to credit cards, or choose the only e-check. Let us see the settings for the same. Select this checkbox to enable the Authorize.net payment gateway so that payment gets accepted through checks on your online store. Select the Enable checkbox to enable Authorize.net payment overview. On this page, you can capture or refund the payment in a click. A refund can be partial or full as per the requirement. You can also see all the order details. This page also shows you a graphical representation of the overview of the Authorize.net payment for the selected date range. You can also see the captured, uncaptured, and the refunded amount in USD. Title is visible on the checkout page under the payment modes. Specify title as require and defined by you. Specify the required description in this text box here. The customer can see this description on the checkout page under the Authorize.net payment method. Next is the authentication settings. To use the Authorize.net payment gateway for WooCommerce, you must have the Authorize.net account. You can open the Live or Test API accounts enter the unique key provided by Authorize.net. This key is used to validate the request with Authorize.net. Enter the transaction key provided by Authorize.net here. Next is the transaction settings. Here you can choose the transaction mode. Either Live mode or Test mode. Here live mode is used for real transactions. And the test mode is used for testing the purchase by using Authorize.net API. There is no real money transaction involved in this mode. You can check this name on account option for enabling name on the account field. Now you need to choose the account types to process for e-check payment and available options are, checking, business checking and saving. Checking, allows e-check payment through a current account. Business checking, allows e-check payment through a business account used for business finance. Saving, allows e-check payment through a savings account. Enter the message which displays in order notes on successful transaction completion. Enter the message which displays in order notes on a failure of a transaction. Once the payment is successful with Authorize.net e-check, you can redirect the payment success page to a custom page, instead of redirecting to WooCommerce default payment successful page. You can provide the URL for the same in this text box option. If you are not getting the payment options or any issue, then you can click on the link to debug for finding the errors. You will be redirected to the Authorize.net card tab. And you can check the status log using the link available here which takes you to the status log tab for finding the errors. Once done save the setting. If you go to the checkout page on your store, you can see that Authorize.net eCheck as a payment option is available. Here you can enter the 9-digit routing number, 17-digit account number and then select the required account type from the account type drop-down list. Click Pay using Authorize.net customized text to the checkout. Now you can successfully use both Authorize.net options for payment options. Before going away, let's see how to capture and refund authorized payment from order page. If the Authorize Only option is chosen under Transaction Type and Admin Settings, then the Capture option gets available in the Order page and the Authorize.net Overview page. To capture the payment, admin needs to navigate to Dashboard to WooCommerce Orders and then select an individual order page. Under Order Action box, select the Capture Authorized Payment option and click the arrow button to capture the order payment. You can see all the transaction details under Order Notes. Once you capture the payment, you can make a full or partial refund of the payment if needed. Click the refund button here by entering the amount you want to refund. You get the message to confirm the action. Click OK to proceed with the refund once done refund, the order will show the refund amount here and you can see the status here. 
In the authorize.net overview page, also you can do a refund both full and partial as well as capture. To capture click on the capture in the payment action, and you get the pop window asking whether you want to proceed with the capture. On clicking on yes go on, you get the capture status. In the same way you can also initiate the partial and full refund here. All you need to do is just click on refund full, if you want to refund full or uncheck full and then enter the amount here and then click on refund. Now how to keep track of the payments and refunds. You can track the data in authorize.net overview page, here you can see the amount captured, uncaptured and even refunded in the chosen date range. You can see the list of the payments in a table row format and even the graphical representation of the data too. You can also choose the date range and then fetch the data too. The LX Authorize.net Payment Gateway for WooCommerce plugin supports subscription payments and is compatible with the WooCommerce subscription plugin. In the Subscriptions dashboard of the WooCommerce subscription plugin, you can filter all the payments made using Authorize.net card and Authorize.net eCheck. To explore more details about the plugin with recent updates in the future, go check out the product page. The link is provided below in the video description. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.